Mayotte is the smallest department of France, with 256,518 people living in it as of 2017. A department of France is basically a state if you compare it to the United States form of government. So it's like Hawaii. Mayotte is a part of the Comoros island chain, but not a part of the Union of the Comoros, which is a separate country. In 1975, the rest of the Comoros Islands declared independence from France after being a colony since 1843, but Mayotte decided to stay a part of France. However, it took until 2011 for Mayotte to become a department. Comoros, however, still regards Mayotte as one of their own. Most of the jobs in Mayotte are service jobs, such as health services and computer services. Mayotte's main exports are fish and I'm not even going to try to say this word, I'm going to just put it on screen. It's a type of perfume and is used in essential oils. The official language of the department is French, but many people speak Comorian and Malagasy. I don't even know if I pronounced that right. French is only spoken by 63% of the population. We will be back after these messages. J'ai fait mes achats sans regarder les étiquettes énergétiques. Allez, dépêchez-vous, il y a plus, plus, plus. Jackpot Oui, je sais, ces appareils sont plus chers que les premiers, mais ce sont des appareils à plus, 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 qui consomment moins d'énergie. Avec le temps, je vais faire des économies et y gagner. C'est ça, un éco-geste Gaspillage en vue Ouh là là C'est la marmitaille Aïe J'ai failli me brûler Petit éco-geste pour l'environnement, mais grande économie Et voilà le travail 5 à 10% de ma facture électrique économisée chaque jour Zut La batterie de mon portable la production d'électricité à Mayotte, ça provient à 95% du pétrole. Et le pétrole, c'est rare, c'est cher et ça pollue. Merci. Harakari Fikiri. Mayotte is the most crime-filled department of France, as this news broadcast demonstrates. So let's move on to focus now. And today we're heading to the Indian Ocean island of Mayotte, which has been a department of France for five years. According to Prime Minister Manuel Valls, the biggest problems there are crime and illegal immigration. Many locals say the two issues are linked and some foreigners have been forcibly evicted from their homes. The government deciding recently to step up security. Gaël Borgia and Josh Vardy report. Welcome to Mayotte, a French overseas department located near Madagascar, 8,000 kilometers from Paris. The sights and sounds are typically African, yet this small island has been French since 1841. Nicknamed the Island of Perfumes, Mayotte is one of the four islands forming the Comoros Archipelago that used to be a French colony. But 1974 was a turning point. The people of Mayotte voted to remain a part of France the other three islands chose to become the independent state of Comoros. Ever since then, there's been a widening discrepancy in living standards between the Comoros, one of the world's poorest countries, and Mayotte, a piece of France with higher wages, better health services, and proving very attractive to poor Comorians and mainland Africans. Today, one in every four person in Mayotte has entered the island illegally. There are loads of us refugees here from all over, Rwandans, Burundians, there are lots of us Burundians here due to diplomatic problems in our country. I earn six euros a day. I sell this. 
Tolerated until recently, illegal immigrants are now being blamed by many locals for the rise in violence and theft, with figures skyrocketing throughout the island. Some of the locals want illegal immigrants out of their island and have decided to act upon it, forcing settlers out of their homes. With a hidden camera, we were able to film such a scene. Hi. Under the passive eye of the police, men, women and children comb through the village and pressure illegal immigrants to leave. Several hundred people who've been kicked out of their neighbourhood are now living in what resembles a refugee camp, right in the middle of Mayotte's main city, Mamoudzou. We're in a country where there's a high rate of youth crime, where it's unsafe, there's a lot of fiscal pressure, with new property taxes about to be implemented. So considering this situation, there had to be a scapegoat. And this scapegoat is the Comorian people. Meanwhile, schools haven't been spared by these tensions and are another symbol of Mayotte's failures. 8,000 babies are born in Mayotte every year. To keep up with the pace, France would have to build one new classroom every day. Today we're allowed to film a striking example of Mayotte's overcrowded schools, the Yunusa Bamana High School. A group of students have just entered the premises chased by a youth gang. Policemen in full riot gear think one or several of the gang members may have made their way inside the school. They find a group of teenagers in one of the classrooms. A 15-year-old intruder is finally arrested. To better understand the youth delinquency plaguing Mayotte, this rough figure, three to seven thousand minors are living in Mayotte on their own. Born here, they're French, but their parents were deported back to the Comoros. An NGO is trying to provide these children and teenagers with an education. One of their classrooms is here in Kaweni, a place labelled Mayotte's most dangerous slum. You underline the qualifying adjective in the other sentence. Some come from far away and get up really early in the morning to be here, so they must like it. They are always as hungry for knowledge. Later in the day, we meet a group of citizens carrying out a night watch. Mayotte has the highest theft rates in France. Armed with batons and whistles, they're trying to deter robbers and youth gangs from entering their neighborhood. We're not going to wait for the state to get the job done. I don't know what the state is doing, but it's not doing much. <laughs> when taxpayers' money is not properly used for the common interest, that's what I call a dysfunctional situation. There's a word for that. It's corruption. Raoul Morivili was city councillor from 2008 to 2014. We ask him what he believes is at the source of Mayotte's many problems. The heart of the problem is illegal immigration. The police force are completely overwhelmed. You just need to see the amount of people coming here every day, at least a hundred every day, coming on their boats. They are the problem in Mayotte. To ease tensions, the French government has just reinforced policing measures against crime and illegal immigration. But that might not be enough to calm the anger of those who feel like second-class citizens of the French Republic. There are two opposing opinions of the matter. One argument says that the refugees of Mayotte are being mistreated by the police force, while the other side says that the illegal immigrants are causing all of the department's problems. However, no matter how you look at it, the immigrants are being mistreated, but the police force needs to take action. So many refugees come into Mayo because the Comoros Islands are poor and Mayo has help from France, so everyone from the Comoros wants to go to the more prosperous Mayo. Ah, 
j'ai hâte de l'avoir fini cette maison Alors je la voudrais naturellement bien fraîche et sans climatiseur, qui consomme beaucoup trop d'électricité. D'abord, j'oriente ma maison selon le sens du vent pour profiter au maximum de la ventilation naturelle et de la courbe du soleil par rapport aux pièces principales de vie. Ensuite, pour bien protéger les murs de la chaleur, je vais utiliser la brique ou le bois au lieu du béton. La brique, c'est un bon isolant. Le bois aussi. D'ailleurs, je peux aussi mixer ces matériaux. Et pourquoi pas avec de la pierre ou du bambou À propos de bois, je vais conserver les grands arbres du jardin que je voulais couper. Leur ombre protégera ainsi la maison du soleil et cela offrira plus de fraîcheur. Ensuite, il faut faire circuler l'air en créant un maximum d'ouverture. Ça, je le sais. Il me faut aussi un toit bien clair et bien isolé, car c'est par là que le soleil chauffe le plus. Je vais donc choisir du blanc ou du beige. Les couleurs claires repoussent la chaleur du soleil. Je vais aussi isoler avec de la laine de roche ou de la laine de verre. Je verrai avec le vendeur le meilleur prix. Mais si je dois construire un deuxième étage, je protège au moins ma toiture avec une isolation provisoire, avec une ventilation en dessous, type coco tressé ou structure bois. Enfin, je vais installer un bel auvent qui protégera ma terrasse du soleil et des protections solaires aux fenêtres. En plus, ça donnera du caractère à ma future maison. J'ai bien avancé En construisant correctement ma maison, j'améliore le confort de toute la famille et je fais de vraies économies. La production d'électricité à Mayotte est réalisée à 95% à partir de pétrole, qui est une ressource chère, polluante et qui se raréfie. Basi harakarifikiri Come and see Mayotte. We have plenty of beaches such as Plage de Moya and Plage de... Uh... That thing. We also have the Jardin Botanique de Coconi, a beautiful botanical garden full of plant species endemic to Mayotte. We also have many hikes to lakes and to the top of our ancient volcanic mountain. We also have snorkeling in coral reefs and with sea turtles. Come on down and stay a while. Pow, 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 pow.